the William Fry handicap hurdle is next. This is a 0 to 140 hurdle, so what a big field. A three miler as well. On the top, we've got Rapunzel for Martin Leadham, Judge Anderson for Joshua Sutherland, Flies for official Padraig Hogan, the Watcher for Graham Clutterbuck, Wolverine Darren Thompson, his mother's parents, Stu Gray, Mind Solution David Robertson, Just a Ride Alex Cherry, Huntsville Club and Pompey King for Vinnie Gerard, Vertical Blue and Matt View Sue for John Morgan, Bag of Tricks for Stu Gray, Sandhill Grace for Derek Hinton and Vermod for Alex Cherry. 15 of them in this then and called in and away whether some of these will be going to the World Hurdle or not next week. We don't know. They're all safely over the first. Some of them may, of course, have qualified for the per temps final. And they won't really want to be blowing their handicap mark by doing too well in this one if they have. So they're over the, over the second. Maybe one or two people haven't thought of that. And uh, I know, wondering whether they've blown a decent mark for that race next week, which won't have a big field, I would have thought, because there's only been three or four qualifiers. So you've got a horse and a decent mark, you probably wanted to avoid hurdles for the last few weeks. That's what some people have been doing. Anyway, it's Judge Anderson. I'm not saying who. He's not sitting too far away from me at the moment. And it's Judge Anderson in the lead. As they get over the third. Sandhill Grouse is second. And at this point, it looks as though David Robertson has got three. But he hasn't, because two of them are John Morgan's. It's just because the, uh, well, the rain's coming down. It's making those blue jackets of... John Morgan, look, not similar to David Robertson's. I've got a blurry video. But anyway, Judge Anderson is clear by about four length or so to Vertical Blue in second. And Sandhill Grouse is next. Then Mind Solution is the one in the middle. That's the David Robertson horse. The one on the inside of the rail. That is Matt View Sue, the second John Morgan. And his mother's parents is next. Rapunzel in the Watcher Huntsville Club is just a back marker Judge Anderson is well clear Vertical Blue second and Mount View Sue his mother's appearance and mind solution Sandy and Grass and Rapunzel after that one Price to see Rapunzel top weight. George Anderson is clearing the lead. Vertical blue. And Mount View Sue. Over the seventh. More safely over the seventh. With the Vinnie Gerard pair the back two. Tongue twisters in this one from Messrs. Gerard and Hogan. We've got the most tongue twistery names of the season. They're pretty straightforward, these ones. Especially after we got, it was pointed out to us that it's flowers for official and not flowers for fishy, which is what we called it in the first week. That's what I called it in the first week, anyway. Pretty sure it's what Stu called it in his first week when he came back as well but it's flies for official and they get over the ninth Judge Anderson's the leader Mind Solution is second Sandhill Grouse has moved through nicely into third Top White Rapunzel is going reasonably well as well Stu Gray Pera next his mother's parents on the inside Bag of Tricks the one that's closest to us was on the outside of Vermog the only grey in the field there's definitely a lack of greys this season See quite a lot of grace. A few races this week, but they've had big fields, and there's only been one grey in it. Anyway, over flight 10 they go. I think they should be due to pass that little group of people who are facing the wrong way in a minute. I say they're facing the wrong way, they're not facing the wrong way, they're facing the right way for looking at what they're looking at. But I you was know, quite so fascinated about watching a load of horses jump the fourth last flight. And you couldn't actually watch the finish anyway. Over <laughs> they go. And it's George Anderson, who's clear by two. And Sandhill Grouse second. 
I'm going to go blue third. Oh, I'm going past that now, back into second. One that's making really good ground is Huntsville Club. That's crept through from the back on the rail. And is now in fourth as they get over the third last. And the jockey on Judge Anderson just having a little look around and see where the rest of them are. And they're queuing up behind to take him on at the moment. Flowers for Fisher is the one that's coming through first of all now to move into second as Huntsville Club just getting squeezed on the rail a little bit more vertical blue and Mountain View is soon then ver uh, just a ride sorry is next as they get over the second last and they haven't got to this Judge Anderson yet he's kicked on again as he turns into the straight and he's suddenly found himself five or six lengths clear once more and then Flowers for Fischl is in second Huntsville Club's now got a run into third then Mount Ville soon a vertical blue bag of tricks and his mother's parents are trying to run on so it's just a ride and Wolverine but the leader Judge Anderson has got one to jump and is leading by about two and a half lengths but he's beginning to slow down now this weight beginning to tell on the ground it's Judge Anderson takes the final flight jumps it well gets away from it well though now Mount View Sioux looks the big danger they're inside the final furlong it's Judge Anderson holding on him a lead at the moment Mount View Sioux though is beginning to close Judge Anderson needs a line to come it's not going to come in time Mount View Sioux's getting up on the outside and Mount View Sue steals it in the final half furlong from Judge Anderson second then vertical blue and Huntsville club after that Flowers for Fisher was next and John Morgan's Mount View Sue gets up and takes it Judge Anderson second for Joshua Sutherland vertical blue well, John Morgan was third, Huntsville Club for Vinnie Gerard was fourth, and Flowers for Fischl for Padraig Hogan was fifth.